Thank you for clicking on this video. This is Nick from Renegade Comics, and I'm gonna be doing a tutorial today uh, for my animation. I wanted to go some, over some of the step-by-step -step animating process that I go through. I don't consider myself a professional, but some of you did ask how I do it, so I'm gonna show you guys my whole process on it. Um, I wanted to kind of go over some of the basic things, some of the structures that I do. I'd go through a lengthy process. I start with dummies as well. Um, this is not because it's, it's, I don't even think it's a professionality thing. Um, I think it's just good practice to do it because it's really important to get your structures up and things like that. So it may be a lengthy process, but in the end it is rewarding. So. I kind of want to go through the steps and tips that I've been using for the past couple of months and years to kind of make my animation change from this to this. So it's a, it's a big difference there. So I'm going to go over the steps. Uh, but before we start, I wanted to let you guys know that I made some changes over the past few months. Uh, this channel is going to go more into the art direction than anything for the next couple of months um i'm writing a manga at the same time while animating so if you want exclusive content things like that you can go check out my patreon um my pay my patreon patreons uh get first access to my manga and they'll start now getting first access to the clips as well uh, it's only a dollar or if you're going to be a brigadier you can go the extra mile and uh, pay the five bucks but other than that it's pretty it's pretty cool um if you don't want to subscribe to the patreon that's fine as well i do have a website of my own that i just recently put up uh it's renegadecomics.net and over there you can go check out some of my stuff as well um the stuff that i put on the website comes a week after patreon so even if you're not subscribed you only have to just wait a week to see some of the new stuff so uh Please go support me if you can, <laughs> and let's begin the process. Let's get started. For the beginning, we're just going to start with uh, step one, which is creating the dummy. Um, the dummy is basically not the full picture. It's, you're just going to draw the, the head, the headlines, or the grid line, sorry. The head grid, chest grid, and, you know joints and hands and feet things like that um basically you just kind of get the feel of how the motion is going to be um for this particular one i wanted rocket to have a particular specific run so basically i wanted her run to be um more human like i didn't want to i mean i know she's not human but i wanted to give her um, a feeling to her run so I wanted to make her run more human like more heavy you know rather than a ninja she is supposed to be a stealth kind of character but for this run we're gonna give her a kind of heavy um, almost unbalanced uh, you can almost feel as if she's breathing heavy kind of run or she's been running for a while um, want to kind of put emphasis on the weight of her body and also the weight of her flesh I wanted I wanted to feel more flesh like and some of the things I'm gonna to add to the stream not the stream some of the things I'm gonna to add to the animation are gonna show that so um, this should be pretty much it I'm finishing the last few steps on the grid Alright, now with that done, we're going to jump here to step two. Uh, step two is pretty much going to be flushing her out. Um, this was in a live stream when I was just explaining what I'm doing. Um, and I did put on there, as you can see, I'm going to animate the hair and chest separately. I'm going to get to why I, was, why I did that here soon. So step two, which is basically body sketch, um, I'm now filling in the grid lines with an actual body, which is Rocketo's body. And 
animating them frame by frame just like did what I did before. Um, this time I could just go one frame to the other because I already know how the run process is going to look like just from the grid. So at this point, I just had to follow the grid lines. <laughs> That's what makes it much more easier. Rocketta's body is also really weird. I don't know how to explain it. Her body is not, it's not a specific type. It's very specific. Um, she does have some muscle to her, but not too much in a sense. Um, really curvy. Um, and not very animated. So that's why the keyframes <laughs> on the run are super almost exaggerated but not but it's really tricky uh, with that done we are going to the next step which is basically putting on the hair now so I did mention before I was going to animate the hair and the chest separately um, the reason I was going to do that is because when you're running gravity is affecting different parts of your body differently such as the hair and the chest so whenever Rocketter is taking a step down um, her body's moving down and of course due to inertia her hair is trying to stay up and adding that to animation is really important because it shows that physics exists and it adds that extra depth of realism to whatever you're animating um, and the same way it works with the chest. So these are things that kind of work separately from the body. Um, things such as the the butt or thighs act the same way, but since she's wearing a tight outfit, that's all being held together. Um, and right now, I am going to be animating the the chest portion and. The chest is going to work the same way. While Raketa is going down, the chest is going up. So that is going to be animated as well in here. And with that done, we're going to move to the next step, which is the line art. Um, line art is my favorite stage of the process because <laughs> I literally at this point am just following my sketch. It's like I'm tracing, so there's literally no work or no animating work done here. I'm just following the grid lines that already exist, merging everything together now. So the body, hair, and the chest together in the line art. Some of you have probably, you know, probably been able to tell already, but this is the same process I use for everything <laughs> while drawing my mangas, while drawing my artwork. When you see my time lapse, I'm usually following the same process. So it still adds on to it. Um, I was thinking about it going into further detail about animating, but I figured that would sway or that would be putting too much into one video. Um, the main thing for this video was just how I animate. Um, going into those other topics, like principles of animation and things like that, um, is just not for me. Like I said, I don't think I'm, I'm a pro. So this is just how I do things. So I'm not gonna go into principles and things like that. There's plenty of videos about the principles of animation that help me out. Um, that I, you know some of the principles I'm using now I was not using earlier so I won't be getting into those in this video but at least you guys can check out the processes of how I go animating so we're done with the line art and we're going now into inking um, inking was pretty easy because all I had to do was fit, put out a back card as you can see and again same process as before start with the canvas or the lower colors first so I started with the skin color first or the skin ink first which is white 
and then I added in the black on top. Same process as always. Last step is shading, which was literally no effort at all. And after the shading, I started messing around with the background to see how it would look with different things. Ultimately, I finished it off as a green screen version, uh, which I then added some effects to it and got the final score. So over here, I was just compiling everything together in hit film and making a little clip. But as you can see, the processes I use um, start generally with the basic stuff, grid lines, body, then I'm going to add on things that are affected by weight differently. Now, separating that part where I separate those things only comes when I'm animating. When I'm doing regular art, I don't need to because it's just a still image. But when animating, you have to take into consideration things that have different weight, how they react, uh, conjunction to the body, things like that. So, the, you know. Paying attention to things like that gives you rewarding animation. So that is how I animate my stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I will go ahead and end this on a uh, good note. I'll leave the clip playing at the end. But other than that, thanks for watching. I hope it was a good video for you to kind of take notes. And for those of you who are artists, I hope it did help you in a way to get some animation done. But thanks and have a good day.